Well, welcome to video of some fly fishing. Uh, today I'm gonna tie a little uh, nymph. Uh, well known for some, uh, unknown for others. It's a Bitch Creek Nymph. The Bitch Creek Nymph, I have a little specimen here. I tied it earlier. Uh, it's a stonefly nymph. But I have uh, used it uh, in the still waters with good results. So uh, I'm gonna tie a still water uh, version of it. Uh, nothing much to it. Uh, I just leave the lead wire. I don't uh, use that because I don't uh, like uh, having too heavy flies uh, when fishing in still water. Uh, on the fast water uh, editions you have to use lead to get the fly down well uh, I start with uh, as I always do present what I'm gonna use of materials the hook and vise is uh, the Zed's Caddis size 10 from Partridge of Reddit um it's a very nice hook uh i use this kind of thread the simple fly 80 in brown wax thread very good uh, for the body i use some um, chenille in yellow and brown i should have had black because i think black is better but uh Yellow is uh, okay, and uh, the brown is the, the I use the dense type, dense type uh, chenille, not the fluffy, fluffy one. Uh, other things, yes, I'm gonna use this crocketed needle. I'm gonna weave this uh, little critter, and I'm gonna use this kind of rubber legs. So kind of had uh, brownish uh, you can use whatever you want but I have this and some uh, cock hackle in grizzly well I think that's what's about it uh, yes about of course I use a uh, whip finisher and uh, scissors but that should speak for itself well, I start with um, attaching my thread. Uh, on, I'm gonna use a couple of rubber legs. I pair it up. I leave a little space in front here for the eye. Don't crowd the eye. And I stretch a little as I go back. Try to make it on top of the hook, like that. Okay. And I use a little thread base back and forth, like this. And the body of this is gonna be a little white. So I'm gonna attach the yellow one on the left side of the fly go down like that go for forward again place it in my material clip the wires I use is a regal, regal with a big game jaws nothing much to it but I, I think this why is this very good for when I'm gonna crocketing this fly? Well, the big thing with uh, using a crocketing needle is that you don't have to cut off your thread 
to do this well I'm gonna change the angle of my camera so I'm gonna stop it a little bit and I'm gonna come back to you well I try to show you how to crock it from the right angle so you can see better well welcome to the part two of this fly tying tutorial well now I'm gonna weave this body I use my crocketing needle and I want the brown one on top and the yellow one on the bottom I use lay it like that and I change my so the yellow comes on it's uh, hard to do, to explain this but uh, this is how it, wor it works okay and I drag outwards and I take the black brown one on top is a bit should have had another needle but it goes okay okay you see the picture now it's a bit awkward to film this way because it's a space between me and my wife but I think I'll manage you see you're getting nice body out of this it will make yellow on the bottom and brown on the top two town body see I'm a bit fumbling now but usually 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 it goes a lot quicker when you get a hang of it it's a long time since I last weaved a body but that's a bit of training I know how it sh should be so I don't make mistakes but it takes a little time now I have weaved my body and I'm gonna leave this for now and uh, I'm gonna change the angle on my camera again so we will see the rest of the video well I now change the angle on my camera the wh what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna use my thread I'm gonna tie off this yellow one like this And snip it off with my scissor don't need that anymore and I'm gonna touch the feather change look how it's gonna be like that and I touch it leave the thread there and use the brown I left to make a thorax snip of this you don't need that either and I'm gonna use the feather wrap this around the thorax start with inner wraps like that okay and tie off this feather
like that. And I'm going to proceed forward. I left some space with a hook eye so we don't tangle up. And I use my whip finisher. Like that. Now I'm gonna cut these rubber legs to the right length. I try to make it just the same, same length. Like that. Maybe a little shorter antenna. Like this. There you have it, folks. You see, brown on the top, yellow on the belly. You could, if you want, try to taper it more than I've done in the back. It doesn't matter. The fish don't care. Really don't. So this is the Bitch Creek Nymph, my version. Uh, I use this for still water. I catch a lot of trout with this. So, uh, as I said earlier, you can uh, use lead on this on fast water for trout, uh, like a stone fly. That's what it really is. But uh, I use it like in a tractor also. So, well, that's all for now, folks. And I uh, used the opportunity to thank you all for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. It gives me great joy to uh, see all you people following me. Uh, I try to post uh, videos uh, as often as I can. Uh, I have to get an idea of what I'm gonna tie. So, um, and least, uh, to to this to say that uh, this uh, fly, I've seen this uh, tied in many versions, also with just synthetic materials. So, well, have it a go, folks. Uh, I'm sure you're gonna catch some trout. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.